Real estate's all about persistence. If you don't have persistence, you might as well not be in real estate. G'day team, it's Danny Dodd from Langan Simmons. Hope you're well mate. Just thought I'd give you a quick call and see whether you're looking to purchase now. Hey, Paul, Danny uh, Dodd. Hello, Danny speaking. I'm Danny, mate. Danny, listen to me. Hi Helen, it's Danny Dodd. Just Hi Felicity, it's Danny Dodd from Langan Simmons Double Bay. Hi Mr. Berkey, it's Danny Dodd from Langan Simmons. Hey Danny, how are you? I'm good mate, how are you? Alright, thanks mate, how did I go? Not too bad actually mate, we had uh... Mr. Slotwinski. After I finished university, I went and did economics and finance. And um, after that, I got a job working in the money market. I worked there for eight years, and it was purely just getting a buyer and a seller of a currency and putting them together and getting commission. Oh, just get onto it and make sure that you know that it's Ben is my assistant. G'day, Ben. He's a gun. Danny's always keen to, I suppose, develop an edge. I wouldn't have any hesitation in recommending Danny to anybody. He's more of a mate than, the, than an estate agent, I think. Fantastic. He's a great guy. Pretty honest people. So I just took to him like a duck to water. I was just thinking about you, Al. Whether it's $200,000 or whether it's $4 million, $5 million, you still get a great kick out of selling it. Waiting for an owner who owns this block of units and has been considering selling it for a while. Doesn't look too good. Mr. Berkey, it's Danny Doff from Langan Simmons. Um, um, just wondering whether you're coming to meet me. Now, here. Ben, just have a, have a look over there. There's some things that I've got you to do. Do what you can, mate. Let's see what we can try and nail that one. Hey, Alex, it's Danny Doff from Langan Simmons. Hope you're well, mate. Just want to try and do at least 50 to 70 calls a day. Hello, Danny speaking. Yes, DB. LSDB as in Langan Simmons Double Bay. Dot com. Dot au. I like to do things that are a little bit different to everyone else. I come in every morning and I have probably 50, 60 emails of people that are inquiring about property and I send them a newsletter and I keep them informed of what's going on. Yeah, Renee, it's Danny Doff from Langan Simmons. So I really, really concentrate on um, servicing people on the net, making sure I get back to them straight away. I give out a lot of advice. <laughs> How are you? It's a big part of my job to be able to know what the market's about and what the market's doing and uh, give honest advice to my clients. When we were looking for this house and you go around to all the different houses and Danny was always there first, honest and hard working, which is rare to find in, in an estate agent. And I'm going to put my house with him and I'm going to sell. It's not about just sitting at your desk, it's getting out, meeting people. Danny, got it's a relationship sort of job and I enjoy it. It's all worth it in the end. I work till probably between 7.30 and 9 o'clock every night. G'day Bill, it's Danny Doff from Langan Simmons. How are you? As I've always said, the harder you work, the luckier you get. It's a life. Bye bye. Hello, Danny speaking. You need to know all the zonings. You need to know what sort of developments you can do on certain properties. Nick Gagliano. We have chosen Danny and Delang and Simmons because of their professionalism, for their local expertise, great local knowledge. His assistant was out to lunch and he wasn't there in his mobile. Um, He's trying. Yeah, mate. I keep them informed, man. I tell them exactly what's going on. What I found with Danny was um, we were speaking the same language and I got a straight answer out of him and, and no cheap salesman talk. A real straight shooter. The agents don't understand that people are making significant financial decisions based upon information that they're giving them. And I think Danny understands that and, and Lane and Simmons understands that. Real estate is all about building relationships, lifelong relationships. Yeah. Well, it's uh, Saturday open for inspection day. Since it's the last open day, if they want to come in at 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock tonight, um, I will organise it for them. I've had um, 40 or 50 people through every open. Um, I need to contact every single one of those buyers and find out whether they like their property and if they don't like that property, wondering whether they'd like to be kept informed of anything else that I get. Rosie over there used to own this house 15 years ago. Well, that was one open done. Five more to go. As I said, presentation is so important. If we may have to spend a couple of hundred dollars to get a cleaner in for three weeks, it's well worth it.
as I said before, you do everything you possibly can, but... Uh, when, when something bad happens, that's when it's, it's all about persistence and just sticking in there and, and just working hard and just working through it. You want to have a look at it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll be there at 2 to 2.45. Quite a few people at this one, so looking forward to this. We've been getting lots of inquiry purely from the internet and the emails I've sent out. Yep. Industry's changing a lot. I think it's got a lot harder. You really need to set up your right systems to find the buyers. You really need to set up your right systems to keep in contact with your sellers. I just knew that that would be hot. Here we go again. Bit of an advantage, obviously, having a family in real estate, but I think you just can't rest on those laurels. Tell me about Wallace by email. Okay. It's all worth it in the end. Well, people like to know that someone's looking after their interests. Daddy. Yeah. He's got a very open manner. He's completely honest. And uh, he did the well for me. He has this thing of knowing what a person really needs and that. He knew my, what exactly, what I needed. We want people to say that that's my agent oh, and, um, and you want to deal with these people for the rest of their life. Steve Karamea and his lovely wife Gloria bought a property in December. They decided to list their property with uh, another agent. They were promised the world and delivered nothing. With agents, I just get the feeling you can't trust them, but with Danny, straight up. If I had to sell another property, I'd definitely use Danny Doff. Hello, Danny Doff speaking. I follow, I track every single auction in the eastern suburbs. I know exactly what they passed in at. I know exactly what they sold for. I've got pictures on them on, of, on record. When I first started doing auctions, uh, about four and a half, five years ago. The for the first auction, I went in for a haircut and uh, I sold the property. So ever since then, every Tuesday of an auction, I go wherever my mother is and she cuts my hair. It's all about preparation. You have to prepare yourself, you have to prepare the property, prepare the buyers. The thing is, I mean, you got you got, um, you got the market talking. You might find out exactly where we stand. I'm working for you, and I want to try and make. I want to try and sell your property at a price that you're happy with. It's definitely very, very serious because you're dealing with your client's most prized asset. The reason we're heading over the Piedmont Bridge is we're going to visit a um, business coach. I think the business coach is very important from a motivational point of view and generally keeping me in line. You need to take you up to that level. He's always keen to, I suppose, develop an edge that's going to help him actually get better results in the area, which is always really great, rather than just focusing on what he knows in the same way that everything's been done in the past. He's always looking for new ways to, to progress, which is fantastic. I guess just listening to him negotiate has been the best part. My gut instinct is saying just wait. Just wait for another hour or so. It's also up to the auctioneer. We've got the number one auctioneer in Australia. That's a dead set seller, Dan. <laughs> we have our special ties that we wear on Thank auction you night. Very much. Can't do anything more than what, what we've done, mate. We've done everything we possibly can. So it's up to the auctioneer now and it's up to the buyers. Let's do it. All right, well, Danny, we can sell it, can we? Beautiful, well done my friend. There's your bid, right there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, about to be sold at $1.2 million. Quick, finished, done. Congratulations, your property. <laughs> and away buyers for it, where do we start? One million and fifteen's the money. Any better offers? <laughs> Investors should be looking at it. Hammer risers, done. Well bought. One million one thirty-five is the offer. And a million and fifty-five. Quick, finished. Congratulations. <laughs> and final time. <laughs> the Hammerizers done. I'll be here for another thirty years. I'll be waiting outside apartment blocks. 
for another 20 to 30 years. Yeah, it's all worth it. Now, if I got this block of units here, He's good, he's honest, he's got door, and he's sexy too. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a good boy for his mother. <laughs> it's a good boy for his mother? Yeah.